Hello, everyone. Welcome to the ADHD podcast. Today we are. Is day? Oh fuck! I fucked it up this time. You were fuck up. Fuck the nickname thing. I was gonna say, is Derek gonna fuck up the intro? All right, we're just gonna wear Fuck the hell. I was gonna say, is Derek gonna fuck up the intro? And I fucked it up. I'm not starting over. I am not starting over. Oh, fuck. Am I a fuck up? I would say maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what? Like, are you... <laughs> they don't know what that is. Derek. Why? Why are you hands deep in your own ass cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> get together and do some shit. Anyway, the game we're playing today is called Your Worst Nightmare. Basically, these fuckheads are gonna rape my fears and then get points, but Derek's a bitch, so he's not gonna win at all. Ain't that right, huh? <laughs> huh, is Jacob gonna win today? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Context, okay. we have our Donald Trump uh, President Predicto Magic 8 Ball. And it speaks out like President Trump. Aurora got me that like, like two years ago for Christmas. We have this thing where every Christmas we get ourselves like, we get everyone normal gifts, right? But we also have to get a gag, a gag gift. gift for everyone to make it funny. Yeah, Aurora for some reason thought a mini refrigerator was a gag gift. I love the damn thing. <sighs> anyway... Uh, fuck. God damn, I have to deal cards out? No. Okay, get your cards. There's no one drawing cards. Oh, wait. It's five cards we rate in, in the order that we think that you would rate them. It's four cards. I, so I would still you have, have to, to draw them. them. Derek, you don't use it. Well, technically, but you don't have to deal them out. Okay, okay. All right. Well, we still haven't stated who we are. They know who we are, dipstick. I still have to state it, and though, what, what if they're new here? Watch the last one. Question. <laughs> here's, this. here's this. If you're new here, run. <laughs> Go now. <laughs> you probably shouldn't be here. You're going to lose brain cells. All right. So the game is called Nightmares, but we changed the rules a little bit. Normally, you get as much points as you <coughs> can because this thing is a queer. The game, game is called Your Worst Nightmares. Whatever. We're basically the point is going to go to the person who is closest to the most closest to the most accurate way Aurora rates her fears. Of course, me and Jacob are going to rate our own fears and we're going to discuss it. Okay. Aurora's going to dish out bonus points as well. So. Yeah, and they're all going to go to Jacob. I thought here. We were... Jacob, you already get two points because I don't like Garrick. <laughs> oh he God. forgot to pick me up from work twice in a row, so fuck you. <laughs> no, I didn't forget. I didn't hear my phone. Fuck you. Uh-huh. Except anyway. for the first one. The first one you were asleep. <laughs> the second one, for some reason, my phone was on vibrate, and I didn't set it there. <laughs> anyway. All right. Here are the four cards. Losing your wallet, getting married. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm afraid so, of marriage. So, so I don't want to. We're be rating her fears, right? Yeah. Stalkers. Okay. But we also talk about our own. Ew! No! And stepping in dog poo. Uh, you really oh. gave it away. Well, you really gave it away, didn't you? That's more Maybe. disgust. I'm not afraid of it. Fear is fear, regardless. But of you the still got to. You still got to rate it on like, like. It, in the order I would have. So four, right. four is your least, is the least scared of. Yes. And the top one is what I'd be most scared of. Okay. Yes. We, put, we, we put my fears right too. Yeah. So you okay. can discuss. So we can discuss it. Yeah. And um, what do I say?
All right. Hold on. <coughs> I wonder if Derek will actually get this right. Probably. He's going to put the dog poop at the fucking top. Watch. For those of you who don't know, I am actually a really huge germaphobe. But I can deal with that, okay? All right. A lot of these are nasty and stupid. A lot of these fears on these cards are fucking stupid. Fear is in different types. Fear doesn't necessarily mean, like, total, like, ah! Fear can be just, like, ugh. But I'm not, that's not fear. That's just disgust. But phobia, well, germophobia is disgust. Hold For, on. Uh, the fear of gay people is not necessarily... Uh, the homophobia is not necessarily you're afraid of gay people. You're afraid of being called gay. <coughs> All right. It's All not right. necessarily anything. Next Friday night, yeah, we do something <laughs> Okay. What are you singing? Last Friday Night by Katy Perry. <laughs> was that playing in the TV show? No. It was playing in my head because it's Friday. And our last day to do this. Yeah. It says I have to post this tonight. Yep. Yeah. All right. Derek, or Jacob's first. Well, fuck me then. Yeah. So uh, who, who am I explaining? Me first or her first? You explain hers. But then we after we do hers, we can explain her own. Okay. Yeah. And like why you're so afraid of So the first that. one I put for you is stalkers. You're always around the house worried about stuff, paranoid because some stalker is speaking on your daughter or something. The okay. two the second one is losing your wallet because you need money. And I know you guys are already low on money as it is and you guys got to pay mortgage and all these bills and all that. Uh poop. Well, the only reason why I chose poop is because true one is nasty, and the last one this also goes with the reason poop is getting married. We're already married. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now here's this. Here's my order. I put poop because the world is an insane germaphobe. Insane. So you think that's what I'm most scared of out of all of these cards? I'm not done. Anyway, number two, I put stalkers because obviously. And three, wallet, because Aurora never fucking brings her wallet <laughs> anywhere she goes. Yeah, if I don't bring it anywhere and it stays in one spot, I can't lose it then. And then and, I have nothing to fear. And for marriage. And for marriage. So yeah. who's closest, Aurora? Jacob actually got them all right. And what is wrong with you? Derek. Derek. Don't say what my job is, but my job can tell you I'm not afraid of shit. That Literal shit. Jacob is right about the whole stalking thing. I am constantly paranoid, especially at nighttime, that I'm just going to, like, see people standing outside my glass doors or, like, peeping in every my daughter's time, windows. Every time I leave the house and Derek's at work, she's always locked the doors. Yeah, <laughs> that is the first thing. I panic, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Lock the doors. Did you lock the doors? Did you set the alarm? And then I'll right. go back and check it, like, All three right. times again anyway. <laughs> I guess it's Jacob won this one. Yes, and then uh, the next... Wait, wait, I'm supposed to explain why. Like, I have, I have a huge fear well, of well, fucking, like, stalkers and people breaking into my house. All right, well, let Jacob mark off his point, because, uh, hit the one. On yeah, this. you gotta do the one on there. And then nextly, the second one is losing my wallet. One of the big reasons why I don't bring it with me, like I literally just said, is I can't lose it if it's not with me. Okay. <laughs> And I am afraid of losing it because then it would be a pain in the ass to replace everything that's in there. What if you get stopped by a cop on the <clears throat> cop though and you don't have your ID? That's illegal to not have your ID. I usually always have some okay. form of documentation. Not, first off, it's not illegal to have your not have your ID. It is. Though. In Arizona, it is. Yeah, Arizona is fucking authoritarian. It's weird. I don't know how uh, I number know three is I've literally done it with number this three shit. is poo because I am a bit of a germaphobe. Even though I can physically deal with it in my fucking head, I'm at the end of the day, every day, I want to light myself on fire. Because grossness. And then for marriage, I'm not afraid of marriage at all. In fact, you didn't give a shit before. I still don't. <laughs> I well, would have been with you no matter what. Now can we discuss it? We didn't have to get the government involved. I would have been with you regardless. 
No. Jacob, since you won, I think you should go first. But that being said, I like being his wife. One, I put losing wallet. Yeah, he, he got him all right. He doesn't have to explain him. You, now you need to explain yourself. That's no, no, doing. he has to oh, explain his, his own shit. Oh, his own fears. Yeah, so I, I put losing wallet as the first one. Well, the reason why is because, you know, I'm uh, low budget. You know, I like money. And, uh, you know, I got to pay rent anyway, you know. And... My dumbass just thought, man, this game's going to take forever. I need to go to sleep because I have work tomorrow. No, I don't. No, I don't. Then I put <laughs> uh, stalkers for the second one, you know, because, you know, you don't want to be stalked. You know, stalk me, I'll stab you in your throat. Uh, no, you're a cat. You don't drink beer. Third one, I put poop, you know. You know, that, that'd be the third one because, you know, poop ain't really that bad. You know, it's just poop. Well, just it wash, can be bad if wash it's the shit not off. your poop. Just wash the shit off. It's stepping yeah. in dog poop. It's stepping in dog poop. Yeah. Like, you know? we're all adults here, right? We all use the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure when we go to go to the bathroom and have an accident where it involves our own shit, it's not as bad as dealing with someone else's shit, especially if it's a stranger's shit. I, I, I have a story. What? I have a story. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jacob's face just now. <laughs> Story. You sit your ass out. Well, I have something to do. It's a military story. Then go. Then both you go first. Me? Yeah. All right. So, there, a drill sergeant was telling if us. If I like the stories, I'll give him more points. Okay. So, my drill sergeant was telling us a story of one of the previous, his previous uh, rounds, or his previous uh, cycles, right? One guy was so fed up with everything going on. During basic training, he took a shit. Then he took his bare hand, oh. picked up the shit, and then wrote, no, fuck no, this unit no, in no, his own no. fecal matter. And it's military people shit. Theirs is hard. My, Ew. Okay, mine has nothing to compare with that. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking disgusting. So, uh, does that Extra mean? point for Jacob because you're gross. I'm kidding. It's for you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna tell your story? No, it has no, no compare with that. <laughs> well, I never mentioned my my stuff, so mine was well. I'm not done, so. Oh yeah, shit. Go ahead. Anyway, I'm gonna continue with the poop story. <laughs> Why is it that poop written on there? I swear to God, it from my angle, it looked like Boop. anal. <laughs> from my angle. <laughs> Anyways, so. I was at work one time. It was like my second day, and I already had to deal with a fucking biohazard. And it was over here at the Excuse casino where. I'm gonna shuffle them up. I uh, don't need to. I put the discards in there. I know, but the shuffling is so. That she can... works. Shut up. Get... Okay. You anyway. keep going, not you. Anyway. I'm telling him to shut up. And uh, it was in the bathroom, and it was just two little go little nuggets on on a oh. rack. Mm -mm -mm. Your last one? Marriage? Yeah, well, who the fuck is afraid to get married? A lot of people. It's a genuine fear. Insecure people? Like my uncle, he was afraid to get married, and he married the same woman like three times. It depends, times. though, you know? You know, it's very weird for me to say that I'm afraid of marriage. I, I'm not afraid of marriage, because you remember our wedding, I nearly passed out. That is true. I, to be fair, I was very, very nervous, too, but it wasn't about the fact that we were getting married. It was the fact that all of our friends and family were there. It was more like performance anxiety. Yeah, like I, like my parents were there and your parents were there, and I just felt so awkward. Well, Wendy wasn't there. Uh, well, she and, was there in spirit. Anyway, yeah. so you finished? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Now I gotta stop being impatient. Um, all right. Uh, number one, my wallet. I have a fucking <laughs> panic attack every fucking. <laughs> Hey, Derek, at least my wallet stays in the same spot, so I don't have to fear about that. But you swear up and down, you leave yours in the exact same spot. No, the fuck you don't. It was underneath, like, the couch the other day. I didn't put it there. <laughs> Bullshit. Someone is. This is the ghost of Dependa. She's doing it just to fuck with you. Next is, uh, I put stalkers on the list. Uh, they're either somewhat, to, to me, they're not that scary to me. 
Because I could literally beat the shit out of him if I had to. I have a ton of blunt force objects in here. Well, I'd still be scared too. Well, it's not like I couldn't hurt them. I could hurt them. Do you have any idea how big I am? I could fuck someone up. Okay. But what? I still just don't want to be in that situation. Well, for the number of times you sat on my face. <laughs> God damn it! Shut the fuck <laughs> up! Why must you go into details about things? No! Be quiet! <laughs> Shut up! Don't finish! No! Well, we're going on to the next four cards. Jack's a bitch. I'm taking your point away. Here you go, Jacob. <laughs> fuck you. I'm not done. No, you are done. Boom. You're, you're done. No. No. Oh, why the hell S's? Storm, Stranger, Success, and Because superstition. you wouldn't let me shuffle the cards. You bitch. That's why they're all S's. It's Derek the bitch. I have no idea. Yes, you do. You said earlier he was. <laughs> all right. So, what's the cards again? Storm, Stranger, Success, and Superstitions. Derek doesn't get to play. <laughs> yes, I'm going to play. <laughs> I'm okay. Hmm. What is soup? That's success. No, superstition. Like, so, like, like a, a black cat com coming across your path. Or mom's mom's fear ear of the vacuum going under her, your feet and stuff. That's a superstition. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Or like saying that you need to knock on wood so something doesn't go bad. Alright. Don't look at my card, you bitch. I might get this one wrong, to be honest. I think these are going to be very general, and I think all of us might have the same one. I don't think so. Well, what I put down, down for you is about the same as mine. Oh, so I was just making jokes. Oh, I got my point back. Oh, let's make the you. sound so that everyone knows. <laughs> okay, now you're now you're just being cocky. Now it's definitely going back. I was trying to be nice to you. I I hope you guys know. I just we should make a rule as soon as I'm not a point, complete asshole it. to him all the time. I do in fact love uh, him. Uh, Jacob, the point is is to be be an asshole with the bonus points. That's the point. <laughs> Yes, the whole point. So, Jacob, technically with these, you They're, can do whatever you want with them. Yeah. But these, Jacob, these points here, you can't take away. The ones on the yeah, cards. Yeah, the ones on the card. Or are any, any other standard point like that. I don't think you guys yeah. are going to get this one for me. Unless you were looking at my card, you bitch. I don't, I don't cheat, Aurora. Mm. Bullshit. <laughs> we both looked at you and were like, Laura, are you for Laura, real? Look at me. Do I lie to you? It's Derek bullshit. You have a silver tongue. I do, but do I lie to you? Have I ever I lied to so. you? <laughs> Shut up, Trump. Have I ever lied to you? I swear to God. I don't think so. Hmm, he's on your side. <laughs> no. Uh, so you got yours written down? Yep. Yeah. I got mine written down. Or I'll go first this time. Okay. So, I'm going to say storms because you're afraid of fucking thunder, I think. No, it was lightning. You're afraid of lightning. You're afraid of getting struck by lightning, at least. Yes, I'm afraid of when lightning gets too close to the house, but that's it. That's what I get with storms. Now, after that, I say strangers because you don't know them. Yeah, I'm, st I'm also thinking about that time that weird, creepy guy was staring at so. After that, I put superstitions. I don't think you believe in that shit. And success. Who's afraid of that in this house? All right, Jacob. All right, so first one, I put stranger. The reason why is because... <laughs> Back to the other thing. No. Because when you're in a store, right, and you start getting, you know... Claustrophobic. I think we all get claustrophobic, but you don't... Well, I don't get it's, claustrophobic. It's, it's the I noise. Get... Yeah, you start... You start uh, Getting aggravated, and I think it's the people, uh, it's people not around that. you. It, it, I'm just getting overwhelmed and overstimulated. It's in that crowds way. and it's noisy because people don't shut up. Second one is storms. I put storms because every time you're in a storm, you're like, don't go outside. 
you know, you're going to get hurt and things like that. And then the third one is superstitions. I mean, superstitions, you know, everyone gets afraid of superstitions every once in a while, you know. I don't. Bullshit. Four is success. All right, so neither of you got it right. Right. No. It doesn't have to be 100%. It has to be who's the If closest. you put success as a fear, I swear. Yeah, you're both tied. If it's a tie, you're nobody, both tied. If it's a tie, nobody gets a point. Yeah. Well, you're not the same, but... How? So, but we got equal number of Yeah, points. you both got like two right, I think. So what'd you put? So what I put actually for number one is success. Because the more successful you become, the more pressures in life you're given. That means more anxiety. That means you can't go back to normal ever. I quit this game. Sorry. Or having like a normal life. Think of how much fucking pressure that is. That sounds terrifying. Don't get me wrong. I'm a highly motivated person. But I also, I'm afraid. You just fucking laugh, you know. <laughs> I'm afraid of being successful. I am. Why do you guys think I don't really want to do this YouTube shit no more? I only do this podcast shit because it's mostly involving just you. But I am afraid of success. Because the higher up you go, the harder you may fall. Continue. Number two is strangers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of for the same reason. I, uh, I don't really trust people or public Jacob, can you close that fridge, please? No. God damn it! I don't... I hate that dumbass fridge. I don't really trust people. Like, I'm always afraid, like, someone's gonna kidnap us, sell my organs, some shit like that. Or I'm more likely to sell your organs. I don't like it even when strangers come to my house or anything. I hate all of that. Is no one going to brush over what I just said? No one what? Heard. I said I'm more likely to sell your organs. God damn it. We all heard you. Okay, number three is she storms. Did. Number three is storms. I'm actually not that afraid of storms. I'm just afraid of lightning. And I don't like people leaving the house when it gets ready to storm. For the simple fact of where we live, we have really bad monsoons. And the other factor is, Derek, you can't drive with shit. <laughs> and you're gonna fuck up if you go out in the rain driving. I, I, I just know it. Most of your wrecks have happened. First of all, he could just during drive, that time. First of all, he could just drive down the road with no storm at all and just go into a ditch or something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And number four is superstitions. I do believe in some superstitions, but I wouldn't really say I'm that afraid. I like good superstitions. So, I got one, Jacob. How many did you get? None. Oh, you got none? Apparently, she's a, afraid of success. <laughs> I am. Like, are you so guys... That means I got does the that, Does that amount of pressure, like, not scare you guys? Not really. That scares me. So because... Success would be great. Because... Right. We're ADHD. Simultaneously, you could be bringing so many people up, and you will never, ever get to meet them. Or any of that, and you can have such a big impact on their lives, mm. and you can also have a big, like, negative impact on their lives, and that shit fucked with my head. So, I actually got the point in that scenario, because you couldn't count them. Alright, just one then. Alright, so you guys need to explain your own now. I will, but... But we're ADHD or we're, we thrive in the pressure. That doesn't mean I like that feeling, though. Sure, I may thrive during it, but that doesn't mean I like that feeling. All right, Derek, go ahead and explain yours. All right. And, and it's probably because I'm always in, like, a constant state of anxiety now, and panic. I and didn't I have a, that. Now, I didn't have a fear of storms until I became an adult. So, this, but this is a, it's not necessarily the storm I'm afraid of. It's the aftermath of it that I'm afraid of. Like, say, a hurricane or a tornado. I am a homeowner. This is my only house. Wait, like the after... Why the aftermath? The insurance should cover that, though. We don't have insurance on this house. We had. We don't know. Well, yeah, we do. The the mortgage. The we, bank covers, like, partially. Yeah. We, we pay for it, <coughs> technically, through the bank. So, um, next after that is strangers. I don't like people normally. <laughs> After that, superstitions, I don't really believe in them. 
I don't. I don't believe in the knocking on wood thing. I do that. Why'd you a, put that as your number three, though? Because success, I'm not afraid of success. I want more success in my life. Well, it's not like I want to be unsuccessful. I'm just scared of, like, the societal pressures and shit. That's not what I'm, uh, I'm thinking about. What I'm thinking about is <coughs> obtaining success because I don't have enough of it. Anyways. I don't know. I think we're pretty successful on our own. Yeah, we've gone pretty far, but I, don't, I would like to be more. I'd like to be comfortable. Not, not, not so oh, comfortable that where there's no conflict in life, but I still want to be comfortable enough to, you know, to live Sonny, normal. Sonny, get down. To, what are you doing, put boy? Him down. Come here. He wants to become a teacher to Good where boy. he makes less than what he makes now, so. Most Shut up. I want it's, 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 an, it's a dream to teach people. Okay? I would like to be a teacher, but like an art teacher or something that make it yeah. actually fun again. All right. And I believe I stated all mine. Jacob can state his. It's literally the same. <laughs> so, I put first one I put Storms. Uh, well, because, yeah. you know, Storms, I was actually... Pause, pause. I just realized something. This is like only our second round, and your guys' boards have been the exact same both rounds. We're brothers. Bro, we, your minds ain't that much alike. We've been raised in the same home. They're pretty alike. Anyways, Storms. Well, one, I was living in Oklahoma with our sister, Tanya. And... Uh, one day I was at school, you know, it was a very stormy day, and then we came up to a t tornado warning. Like, at the, school? Yeah, the, the skies were gray, huh. green, whatever you want to call that color. Back in my day, I usually just got school shooting warnings. It was storming, warnings. it was really windy that day, like, <laughs> I can't even get my friend on the phone, he, he can explain that day. We all had to go home with our parents, they had to call in. They were so busy that they had to call their friend in to come get me. Mm hmm. I wish I could have just dealt with like a storm warning at my school. Instead, I got hey, there's a bomb threat. When we got home, we Someone had to pack food in into the gun. storm shelter on the military base. I do believe the I believe I have a story based on the school thing that Aurora just mentioned. So, I do believe when I was state when I was at Laporte High School in my <coughs> freshman year, um, they school. I uh, was having exams and for the final bit of the year and someone decided to make a bomb throughout the day before. Like they called the school that I'm going to bring a bomb to the school. No, not, mine, mine, mine was like way worse. Mine was like there was one like every other day. Like you guys don't know this. I went to very, very ghetto schools. and I know that, but they probably did. Those bomb threats mostly came because students just want to get out of school. Well, it wasn't only bomb threats. There were people... There was one time, and this was in my elementary school, my granny had to come and pick me up, and I was so terrified. From what I remember, this dude went crazy, killed his girlfriend the near the apartments near near my school, my elementary school. I had to be like six or seven at the time. And uh, he killed his girlfriend Give me. Yeah. and peeled off her face. And then ran to the school for shelter. Oof. And that's all I really remember, other than being very terrified and being locked in that room for God knows how long, being so fucking scared. I remember being in a school when a bunch of armed gunmen jumped the fence. Well, the guy was armed. He had a gun. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the time I had a school shooting. So I'm about to go into the school when I was here. You know that time I got caught with weed and stuff like that? Yeah. So let me explain that story while we're here. <laughs> so one day I decided to bring some weed to the school. You know, I was done. It was, I was eighth grade, I think. And, go on. And uh, they had security and stuff like that, but they had police to the school because I smelled like weed. And... They actually had the dog because I thought I was gonna get away with it. They they were actually calling to us, but as soon as we were smoking smoking it, so my dumbass decided to put it back in my pocket instead of hide it somewhere. And they went up to the table and they were like, "Hey, you you guys smell like marijuana." So they all brought us back and searched us. Uh, I tried to get away with it like some dumbass crackhead. Yes, can I use the restroom? <laughs> uh, yeah, because that's gonna work. But they didn't let me do that, so I turned around and put it in my underwear. <laughs> I 
I was like, okay, fine, search me. Like, nothing just happened. Like, I wasn't just refusing it. And then, all of a sudden, I was like, yeah, search me then. So, they were like, you put it in your underwear. I saw what you did. So, I was like, fuck. And I just brought it out. And they cut it open, put me in handcuffs. Dad came down to the school. Beat your ass when you got home, I'm assuming. No. Well, Dad came down to the school. He didn't really do anything, honestly. Um... He basically Same. just got me out of the arrest, and they gave me a ticket. I had to go to court, you know, skip skips the court court date. Then you got a warrant for your arrest. Uh, well, Dad basically helped me run. Well, that was mostly Dad's decision to make you skip court and make you go to another town. Yeah, Dad was like, "They're gonna put you in jail and all that," so I just sent you away. That's also dumb. Very but fucking dumb. Anyway, while we were arrested, we were on the ground, and the school went to lockdown because someone else brought to, brought a gun to a school. At the same time? Yeah. Coincidentally, yeah. at the exact same time? And we were in cuffs on the ground in the dark. Yeah. Uh, I think... Uh, Jay, why don't you tell that story you told me about the time that you were basically kidnapped? Well, it wasn't really a kidnap. So, what happened was, one day, I stole this weed, you know, from gang beggar. Man, we, we hanged out and all that uh, from gang member. Except the guy that pointed the gun at me didn't wasn't the one I stole the weed from. So, what happened was, he found out that I stole some weed. You know, I, I kept denying it. I was like, no, nah, I, didn't, I didn't steal any weed, bro. He had to ask someone else. He was like, okay. So the next day, we get back to the school. He was like, hey, come with me. And he shows, and I see the gun. I was like, okay, fine. Fuck it. Uh, I could have went to the school, inside the school. But I kind of wanted to just school anyway. So it wasn't really like a kidnapping. Um, and we were all going around. I had money on me. So we went to go buy some weed from a dealer. And, uh. We've been smoking on it and eating all day. You know, just going around on trains, buses, and all that. It's in Denver, so. Uh, then, one of them had to go home. The guy with the gun stayed with me. So, we were walking back to the school, and it's the alleyway at the school, because the buses are about to come and all that, to go home. So, we had to go back to the school for that. And, uh, we were there. We're quite a bit, and we were sitting there to where the, the school couldn't see us. It was like a cutout. And uh, we were just sitting there smoking weed. And then he starts, like, mumbling about, hey, I don't like you, and all this. And then he pulls out a gun. You know, he, he's waving around like this and all that. You know, I wasn't really scared because I knew he wasn't going to do nothing, you know. But he basically threatened you. With a gun while you were at the school and just took you on this random joy ride through town. Yeah. That's yeah, kidnapping. And then, if you were taken against your will, Jacob, you were kidnapped. Well, I, I I don't know. We were just hanging out. Like, we were all high, so. I, I, <laughs> yeah, pro- you were hanging out with your Jacob, kidnapped. That's probably the reason why I wasn't scared of, the, scared of it, because I was high. I, I, How'd you get away from all that? Isn't this weird now, since weed is now legal? Yeah. But... They're probably dealing it illegally, because technically you're supposed to tax weed now, so... Yeah. But I was high, that's only the reason why I probably wasn't scared of it, you know? Yeah. Guys, they can't see it, but my sunny baby's here. I was too fucked up. (laughs) Alright, maybe we should start the next round. We've been talking a while. I know. I'm gonna turn on the light. I can hear it. Oh, it's dark. You good boy. All right. I'm playing with my kitty cat. I have two of them now. But that's that's when uh, one's Danny or Dandelion. But that's when our dad uh, decided to let Betty beat me with a fucking belt buckle. All right. Let's get to the next one. You shuffled them like a million times. What you doing? Just give her a deck of cards. You scared my kitty. 
All right. But dad didn't get the concept. Secondhand smoking, running out of gas, big cities, and taxes. Wow, this is something. Running out of gas, secondhand smoke, big cities, taxes. Why does this speak our childhood? <laughs> yeah, it does. It just screams my childhood. Oh, God. Um, I'm, I'm going to see what I, if I can figure you out. She grew up in that, so... <laughs> no, I'm going to think outside the box here. I might be wrong, but I'm gonna do that. Um, not gonna mind. So you know, Derek, this bitch ass, he ordered himself like a whole bunch of stuff when we ordered lunch, remember? He got himself a milkshake and didn't share. Who? Bitch, I was just getting food. You got yourself a whole five course meal. <laughs> so we end up getting the rest. Okay. Did you share milkshake? Well, no, no, no. I didn't do mine yet. Then how dare you? And it was chocolate, wasn't it? That's her favorite. Fuck. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. All right. Decide so one last round. I go first. Yeah. <coughs> the first one I put taxes. <coughs> the reason why I put that is because you're always afraid of not having money, and if tax comes and you gotta pay taxes, that's gonna make you paranoid. Because every time you buy something you want, you get paranoid. That is fucking true. You get paranoid and second guess everything you purchase. The second one I put... Even if it's groceries. Well, sometimes I think I... Well, I don't technically need it. I just wanted it. Yeah, then you start like a... Hey, and then I think, I oh, I, I made a really bad this. choice. I know, yeah. You need to start thinking about yourself sometimes. Mm. Anyways, gas. Running out of gas. Because she's always afraid of the car breaking down. Or it's going to be stranded out of nowhere. And that's the only reason why there's a case of water in the back of the car. <laughs> the one is secondhand smoke. The reason why I put it in the third one is because I don't think you're really scared of secondhand smoke. Because you grew up in it in your parents' house. Because they smoked all the time. And four is a city. You're paranoid of people. And you're afraid you're going to get kidnapped. And all that. So... That sounds like that should, one should go up higher than you think it, what you stated, that last one. What? The way you worded it made it sound like it should be on the higher up the tier. Yeah. Well. Why is it hot in here? Probably because okay. I'm drinking. Here's mine. Number one being taxes. Probably about the same reason Jacob stated. Gas. For the same fucking reason. <laughs> Because Aurora is always worried if you have enough money for gas. Remember? Listen. So I know I'm I no no Being wait. stranded is wait, scary. Can I, can, I'm sorry, I got went out of order. Can I, I really explain my city? Because I re explained it wrong. I didn't mean to say you're gonna get kidnapped and all that. I meant to say cause you like to going out and doing things and shit. Okay, I I I, I misworded everything. I I went in the wrong order. I actually went from second to bottom. The second. So the second one was actually cities. Because well Aurora is I remember the last time we me and Aurora were in Phoenix or Chandler, I don't remember which it was. It was during our honeymoon. It was the way Aurora reacted to about uh, the way the city was going. And one time there was this guy screeching his tires and she fucking ran. No, no, cause that dude was driving fucking crazy and I thought he was gonna hit us with the car. That's not me being afraid of the city. That's me being afraid of people. <laughs> But that only happened mostly in cities. Yeah. Like Phoenix or Chandler. And not to mention there's a lot of crime, especially in Denver. Oh, yeah. yeah. Crimes mostly happen in cities. That's where I was arrested, though. Well, and uh, then it was gas for the same reason as taxes. 
and then for secondhand smoke because she was raised around it. All right. So right off the bat, I actually do want to say I hate all of these. I, I don't like any of it. All of those I don't like, actually. They're correct about one thing is I don't fucking like anything that's there, okay? But number one, I put gas. Because <laughs> I'm constantly paranoid again of not having enough money for gas. And I'm also scared I'm not going to have enough gas to make it to work. And I'm also scared of not having enough gas to, like, get home if we're out somewhere. Because I am deathly afraid of, like, being stranded in the middle of the desert. And fucking terrified. And that is why we have, like, a big-ass case of water in the back of our car. I told Derek right away, you leave that in there. That's emergency water. That stays put. Uh, right. That was my idea. No, that was my idea. You said, why? That sounds stupid. We need to take it out and bring it inside. I never said that. So I agreed more with water. you. The, no, no. Because you're always, like, wanting to cut corners, like, do we have to get these cases of water this time around this paycheck? Yes, because I will or, never shorthand water. Even if we have we extra have water. We have water. Anyway, continue. Still, this is ones we take with us on the go. So then we always have access to it. Dehydration is real. That's the purpose of us having car water. I don't always have access to the car now, do I? But, yeah, you do if we go anywhere. Okay, I'm not always with you, though. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, go on. Number two is secondhand <sighs> smoke. Mm. Just because I think it's very gross. And Derek said gross counts. I'm very disgusted by it. I fucking hate cigarettes. I hate weed. I don't like the smells. It's awful. I just don't like the smell of the weed, okay? It smells like skunk ass, okay? <laughs> I don't like the smell it of don't cigarettes. don't smell like skunk, I don't, skunk weed. I don't like the smell of it. And also, I, all I, I, I can't get this out of my head. Uh, secondhand smoke, when it's in the air, it's basically just your family member's breath that you are also breathing in and smelling at that time. And I don't want to fucking think of that, okay? What's your third one? But now, now I got Jacob's mind running because now that's all he's thinking about, that he's been inhaling other people's breath. And what's your third one? Think about it. Their breath is soaked into the walls. It's nasty. I'm not visiting your parents now. <laughs> What is your third one? Third one is big cities because I'm afraid of getting lost and I don't like big places and I don't like people. I'm afraid of people. I'm afraid of crime. I like to avoid that shit at all costs. That means your last one is taxes. Yeah. Why? I don't like taxes either. Let me be clear. All of these were pretty much but equal why you not, the fear. But why was the police on the list? Because I know like, we always usually have our taxes paid. Okay. Now, if you said debt, that would be How a different story. Huh? How many did you get right? None, actually. Yeah, none for me. Yeah, so I knew both of you didn't get any. Nobody gets points. All right. I'm going to state mine first. Um, uh, okay. My number one is gas. That's kind of the same reason that Aurora's was. Um, then taxes for me. Because if I don't have them paid, aid, I go to jail. What's the government? <laughs> um... Then secondhand smoke, and the reason is not because it's gross. No, it's, it's your family's breath. No, it's your family's breath. That's all what goes through my brain. Can if you I guys talk? don't know, my family's heavy smokers, and that's all I can think about. Aurora, this is me. Smoke breath. For me, Aurora, it's because I'm allergic to it. The smoke. Yeah, their breath. I'm allergic to tobacco smoke. Their breath. Shut up. It's disgusting. Anyway, and the last one is cities, because I don't really give a shit. Okay, my turn. Anyway. My first one is kid. taxes, because I'm not paying taxes. I want to get taxes back. That's the only time I'm not afraid of taxes. <laughs> Gas. Well, I'm afraid of being uh, stranded. And, you don't have a problem. Uh, it's still a It don't fucking matter. Yeah. Like, what if you wreck the fucking car again? <laughs> It don't fucking matter if I don't have a car. Someone else can run out of gas. Yeah. Just Dumbass. getting stranded in general. Dumbass. Anyway. Well, I like the time when the car broke down when you were driving it. <laughs> Shut up. Go <laughs> City. Huh, the only time Derek didn't break the car. You City. Uh, 
that's not necessarily true. <laughs> Derek, shut the fuck up. Derek, Cities. <laughs> Cities. Cities. <laughs> what about titties? Where? <laughs> We're just getting dead silent. <laughs> City. <Titty. Titty. laughs> <laughs> well, who the fuck is afraid of a city? Well, I would personally love to live on a ranch somewhere out of the middle of nowhere, personally, but cities ain't that bad, you know? What's the worst thing you have besides getting kidnapped? Man. But that's besides another point. Uh, my last one is uh, uh, secondhand smoke. You know, I'm not really scared of it, you know? You know, I smoke weed often, so... But secondhand smoke is someone else's smoke. Yeah, I know. Tobacco smoke, mostly. I'm yeah. not really afraid of it, though. Well, maybe now that I... Yeah, now that I said something. <laughs> anyway. Jacob has an iPhone, everybody. You know, technically, cities are more scary than out in the middle of nowhere because... In the middle of nowhere, barely anything ever happens. Wild it's animals. so peaceful. Meanwhile, in fucking cities, you almost get hit by someone taking their car out for a jar ride when you're on your honeymoon. Aurora, getting hit by a car, if you get, you most likely die instantly. Dying of dehydration is more painful. I don't want any of that, okay? Now, see? <laughs> I'm afraid of that, too. <laughs> I, I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of painful death. I don't want to die. It took me forever to want to live. Okay. That, that got really depressing. Tearing scabs open. Technology. <laughs> Block, blocked numbers and puppets. Oh. Wow, this one's actually interesting. This is all old people shit. No? Mm, and this is actually... I, I, I'm not really sure. I really am. Hey, isn't that the puppet from, uh... Yeah. That one movie? Uh, Don't Scream or something like no, that? No, it's from uh, Goosebumps. The, yeah, that, yeah, that is. It's slappy. Oh. This one's gonna be hard for you guys, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really know. You know well, I can tell you right off the bat, most of these I'm not. It's hard about. for me, okay? And one of these things I actually. I'm not getting like. any of these. There's only one thing on here, Ward, that I'm absolutely fucking terrified of. I know, you're scared of puppets. Well, you're. I don't know. Well, not necessarily puppets themselves. Jacob, here's a hint I collect dolls. Yeah, I know. That's I right collect now. a ton of dolls. I love them. I know. I slept with them in a the basement. <laughs> My mom's terrified of them. She swore up and down that their eyes would follow her all the time. And I was a creepy child, okay, and teenager. I had shelves in my room, right? <laughs> and I had them all facing the door. Her just mom's to creep her out. And I bought a clown one. As well, but it as close to the door as possible. Yeah, her mom's <laughs> terrified of clowns. Because I'm a jerk. Time to float. Anyway, Hold I on. Think I'm ready? No. All right. Fucking One impatient time. asshole. I was just saying I'm ready. I fucking hate puppets. I hate mannequins. I hate anything that looks remotely human. Okay. You know what's weird? I don't feel the uncanny valley thing, which is dangerous, I think. <sighs> is that bad? I don't feel uncanny valley. Well, the fact that some people who don't feel the uncanny fa valley feeling is actually due to the fact they have some kind of personality disorder. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Although I also have a personality disorder, I still feel the uncanny valley effect. I don't think I have a personality disorder. <laughs> Hold on, wait, let's ask Trump. We haven't asked him one. Hey, Trump, do I have a personality disorder? Forget that. Forget all of that. Okay, he said no. He said no to your mom. It also sounded very fearful, so I don't know. 
Um, are you done? Yeah. I'm are done. you done? Yeah. Okay. No one won, so who's going first? Okay, who's going? Yeah, who? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go. You go first. Jake. Okay. First one I put for you is Scabs. I don't know why, but I just feel like you... I, I had a feeling this one was going to be hard for you guys. But, you know... Mm. No, I don't know why, because you're always picking out your pimples. Anyway. <laughs> it's not just my pimples. I pick out my skin. I'm a, I have a problem with my anxiety and OCD. It makes me skin pick. I don't yeah. really talk about it that much. I will literally pick out my skin constantly. I put technology, because I think you're afraid of... <laughs> Hacking people, you're always paranoid. I don't know. Puppets, I, I put the third one, you know. Why the fuck would you be scared of those? The fourth one is numbers, because I don't think you care who the fuck blocked you. Like, <laughs> well, well, block numbers, at least she blocked it. Yeah, that's what it said, block number. You said if someone blocks her, it's the other way around. All right. Let's continue. I don't think she cares either way. If she blocks someone, that means she don't like them. So, well, number one for me, I put block numbers because if Aurora was is a was a, was blocking a phone number and they keep calling her, I think that would make Aurora paranoid. Now, second to that is technology because Aurora is deeply terrified <laughs> of getting hacked, especially since all a lot of our stuff is involved in it. Next to that, I put scabs, because uh, she always fucking picks, up, picks at them. And number four, puppets, so she collects dolls. <laughs> okay, so Derek got them all right. Now let me explain. I don't like block numbers because, again, uh, stalkers, people like that, why are you continuing to call me? You're being creepy. I hate that. This fucking thing should just be called fucking stalkers at this point. We're just talking <laughs> nothing about stalkers. Second one is technology, but not because of the whole hacking thing, actually. But now that you mention that, I'm a little bit fucking scared of it. What I'm actually terrified of is people spying on me on my webcam. And nextly, I also am afraid of technology because I don't understand it. Well, you doing OnlyFans now? I'm actually a little bit of a boomer. And the technology aspect, and I'm not good at it at all. That's why I made powder set up the string, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, number three and number four, I'm actually not scared of at all. Again, I have an issue with skin picking, so I'm not afraid of scabs or anything like that. I don't want to uh, Because, well... <laughs> <laughs> I, I really... I struggle with that a lot, actually. I've tried for years to stop. And number four is puppets. I'm not scared of puppets. I like puppets. Yeah. Fuck yeah, puppets! So, here's this. I'm gonna go first, because fuck puppets. I like dolls fuck and puppets. Fuck and dolls. <laughs> I like all fuck of those. Them. I hate them all. I hate I'll it. Buy a mannequin. <laughs> Alright, so that's your first one. If there's a cryptid that I'm possibly afraid of, if they were real, it would definitely be skinwalkers. The only time I'm, like, scared of mannequins is sometimes I think they're actual people when I'm in the grocery store, and I'll accidentally bump into them, and I'll tell them sorry. Bruh, I have a similar problem. I, I'll be standing, <laughs> looking at some, uh, looking at stuff in the middle aisle, and I look to my light, and man, I'm like, fuck! <laughs> Jacob, I don't think you realize, he is genuinely scared of them. He doesn't even like Tiny Tim. My only doll that's up there. In fact, I've got a statue of us over there. I don't even know if you like that one. Honestly, I think that just looks like art to me. Well, it's what cute. about Tiny Tim? He's cute! I know that I've never seen a statue. The only instance where I've seen a statue move is in fucking, um, and it was the Weeping Angels from Doctor Who. Tiny Those Tim. terrified me. Tiny Tim's not hurting anyone. Tiny Tim looks like he could come to life in any moment. Man, fuck you. We got statues all over the house. What are you talking about? It's I may be afraid thing. of Weeping Angels, but they're stuck together at certain points to where they most likely won't be able to move. Anyways. That has legs. <laughs> <laughs> this 
just fucking <laughs> chucky. <laughs> Annabelle. Are you scared bed? of like Barbie dolls or like my porcelain dolls? The porcelain ones. Porcelain. Why? Creepy Barbie porcelain. dolls. I'm not so scared of. Although, oh, I, all I think about the Barbie dolls and mostly is in was in the movie Toy Soldiers. Where they basically lethalized a bunch of Barbies. Or Toy Story, you know. But I'm not really afraid of Barbies. Oh, I am. It's... Uh... <laughs> hey, Uncle, you want to play Barbie? No, no, no. Your turn, Jacob. Okay. Well, he's got to do his... Uh, yeah. I still haven't done my other three. Oh. Uh, technology, because me who knows how to hack, I know what the fucking absolute extent of that goes. I really know how far it can go. And it can get bad. <laughs> Next to that is block numbers. It's a block number. They're going to keep calling me. I'm going to ignore it. I don't care. And third is scabs because fuck, I don't give a shit. It's a scab. It's harmless. The first one, I put pop, puppy, puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're fucking scared of puppets too? Yeah, I put puppies. Why? <laughs> Am uh, I the only one who likes them? If you look on that show, there's a good example. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> the only reason why is because um, the recent movie that me and Derek watched. You're talking about uh, Dead Silence? Yeah. Now, the only reason why is because I actually believe in paranormal. Um... The only reason why, because I think I've actually had some experiences with it. And that's a good reason. And I know, I mean, it can't haunt dolls, clearly, but it'll play with you with dolls. You know, it'll mess you with the dolls. And that's the only reason why I'm afraid of them. Mm -mm. If a spirit is attached to a doll, I do not think that is a good entity. Technology. Well, honestly, I'm not really afraid of technology. The only reason why I am afraid of technology is because hackers, you know, things like that. And, you know, yeah. Fuck, so, I want to put a tattoo gun now. Well, you can always tattoo my chest if you want to. Anyway. You might right now, oh my probably need to wait till you heal up the sunburn a little bit. Oh. You always tattoo my ass. Fuck you, you were hands deep in it in the beginning of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> going... <laughs> Let's scab. Well, I'm not really afraid of picking at my skin, really. You know, I do it all the time. Like, watch this shit. Ow. Mm. Um, mm. Number... Jacob, right Jacob, now. Jacob looks like a lobster on the shoulders. He's got a sunburn. No, look at my face. Man, if there is something I'm afraid of involving skin, it's sunburns. I don't like them. Numbers. Block numbers. If I'm going to block a number, fuck you. I don't care. Which is weird, because I tan like If I'm going to block easy. you, I have a reason to, so. Yeah. All right. Let's start the next set. Derek gets a point, because he's the one who fucking... Yeah, I already broke it down, so. Okay. Teenagers. My boss. Zombies and talking to strangers. Oh boy, this one. This one has a lot to unpack. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, hmm. Man, I know all of these you're possibly afraid of in some oh, way. Oh, yeah. Well, I think she's really afraid of uh, I'm going start to start with the easiest first. Hey, Wara. Hmm. She's what? not afraid of teenagers. Okay. <laughs> Jim, you're almost 20. Shut up. He's still a teen. Technically, yes, but no. Talking to strangers. Hmm. I have a feeling yeah. they're going to both get this one. I really do. Because this one is kind of like an open book, or it should be for them. Let's do first one to seven, because I'm getting tired. All right. Instead of to 13, because this is going to take forever. Yeah, we're already an hour in, by the way. Yeah, fuck. Um, How many points are we at? Well, I have two points. Ow! Jacob has three bonus points, but one additional point. Oh, Jacob's winning. Technically, yes. Fuck, this might have to go to five then, because we've been recording for a while. You haven't been dishing out bonus points, so... Man, fuck 
fuck you. Just because of that, here you go, Jacob. Tell Derek to give, suck a dick. Give him more points. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I want to lose, damn it. <laughs> you are. Anyway, you saw me. I was hoping that would work. <laughs> <laughs> I already told you beforehand all week that you were gonna lose. You should have come up with this bonus points thing. One. What's with the stranger in this motherfucking thing? Anyway. Yeah, why is there so much thing involving strangers? I'm going to title this Don't Talk to Strangers. Like, yeah. Alrighty. Oh, God. Who's okay. going first this time? Uh, I got the point, so I'll go. Hey. Um, it don't matter, honestly, who goes first. All right. For Aurora's first, I put zombies. The number of times Aurora's <laughs> told me she is absolutely terrified of zombies... Yeah. Next is her boss, because she's afraid of getting fired. Three. Strangers. She could deal with them if she had to, but, I do, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to talk to them at all. And four is teenagers, because teenagers are dumb. Hi, <laughs> kitty cat. I put... Your boss. The only reason why is because every time you do something wrong, you start getting paranoid. I'm going to get fired... And things like that. Uh, the second one I put I is zombies. I strive for perfection, damn it. The second one I put Mostly is zombies. Mostly within myself. Because zombies, you can't really... Zombies, you know, you can't... It's not a thing. <laughs> you know, and it will never probably be a thing. I mean, oh, it's no. been scientifically proven that it, you can't <laughs> actually go into an apocalyptic zombie My apocalypse. Hmm. My kitty. Pay attention. <laughs> I am. Strangers. Well, you, you can deal with strangers, you know, I, I know you, you can talk to strangers, and you might not like it, but, uh, and then I put teenagers, oh, you're living with one, so. <laughs> oh my goodness, how did you both not, you both didn't get it fully right, but one of you got more than the other. Number one is zombies. Motherfucker, that can happen, it has happened. Have you guys seen zombie deer? Or fucking zombie snails? Or fucking zombie ants, motherfucker! That's gonna happen. What? Yeah, it can happen in insects, but there's not enough bacteria. A deer's an insect? Have you seen those? One deer got it, and it was still quote unquote alive and walked itself into the fucking lake. But it's not enough bacteria lake. to where it'll affect us. And it's it's been scientifically <gasps> proven, and it's been and tested. There's that fucking snail with the parasitic worms. They're going into wait, the eyes and turning into a Wait a minute, Hold on. Jacob just unpacked a can of worms. Wait, they were testing this on people? Yes. And it's, oh, actually, no. it's actually been proven that you cannot go into a, a zombie apocalypse. Oh. If it's going to roll, like roll heard, it in, it's going to age. Heard, and Jacob, but, but, Jacob but, you but, forget evolution here. What? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I heard like something, I think, about like the mushroom one that makes zombies, that it's not possible to like attach to humans and stuff, right? Unless... The climate rises and it gets hotter. What's happening in the world right now? Excuse me, I'm Jacob, very much terrified. Jacob, where do we live? America. Where, what state do we live in, Jacob? Arizona. Exactly. It might oh, you know, no. it's hot, but I'm not, it could thrive here. Mm. I, I don't believe that zombies will be real. You, no, it's going to have to prove to me. No, I... I'm fucking terrified of zombies. I can't even play zombie games. All right, continue your list. You scare the shit out of me. Number two is strangers. Uh, I really don't like dealing with them. I can deal with them. I'm perfectly fine with dealing with them. But again, stranger danger, especially if I'm all alone. I'm fucking scared. It's a very one, okay. Context. I also dealt with several creeps at my job before. And one time there was this man who had one arm... He came for my assistance and was very drunk and was asking for my assistance and then proceeded to say how my septum ring makes me look very sexy and I must be easy and I should go back with him and his wife. Yeah, that's creepy. 
Absolutely. And I was all alone that day. And it was fucking dark. Hey, in the building. hey, hey, so should that rain. guy go to jail? He was drunk, I mean. We're gonna see what happens. Gonna be exciting. Mm. That sounds even anyway. creepier. <laughs> Number three is bosses. I'm actually not really afraid of my bosses. I really love them. They're very, very nice people. Um, I am just afraid of fucking up at work. I try my best not to, even though I I'm pretty sure most of the time I'm just all in my head. I just really... I, 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 I strive for per perfection mostly within myself. Mm. And I'm... Yeah. Number four is teens. Who the fuck is afraid of a teenager? So who got the most points? I didn't... I don't know. So I got... I know I got zombies and teens. I just got teens. Oh, oh so it was me then. So. Teens was pretty fucking easy. Yay, yeah, bonus point for me. I'm kidding. No. Why did you think I'm not afraid of zombies? I'm fucking terrified of zombies. Because they can't exist. Bullshit. First off, Jacob, you forget about evolution. Those zombie deers and snails were enough. Jacob. Okay? It's not just human zombies have... I'm terrified stop. of. So, stop. What? Can zombies be real? <laughs> it looks like it could happen. I fucked her! I have a right. Dude, have you seen those zombie snails? Not even a little bit. Not even 1%. Bruh, I didn't fucking ask you. <laughs> anyway, have you seen, like, the zombie aminals? Like, in I've seen the deer and I've seen the ants and that's Bruh. it. Bruh. And it's fu no, okay. And it's all from okay. a bacteria. Okay. You can't get infected okay. to it by okay. Hold like on. getting bit Someone or anything. Someone needs to pull up the fucking zombie snails. Okay, they kind of look cool, like they got a disco going on, on, on in their on. eyeballs and shit, right? Hey, Siri. It's not a disco. It's a disco of fear. I'm only drawing your four cards. So hold on, stop. Hey, Siri. Uh huh. Pull up zombie snails. I'm really thinking of the snail and the immortality thing. Yeah, that snail in Chainsaw Man also has it. It fucking scares the shit out of me. It fucking looks like a disco, but it's not. It's worms pulsating in the snail's eyes. It's this peaceful landscape. A snail has eaten parasites. Watch how fucking crazy. Oh! 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 Oh, oh no! Get rid of it, please. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, See, uh, now you know what I'm it's scared It's not that. I don't like insects. Get rid of it. Jacob, you see what I mean, though? Those are worms. I like how we just... I basically erased my list of things that I was afraid of on that list. And I just forgot that we were supposed to do that. Ugh. Yeah, I get an extra point because you did that. I'm kidding. Anyway, what time is it? I'm willing to call it a night already. It's... My head's killing me at the moment. 7.33. Oh, I meant that how long we've been recording. Oh, it's been over an hour. Yeah, so I'm going to say this is good enough now. Well, we have been an hour and eight minutes. Can we at least do one more round? <sighs> just one more? Or just at least finish <sighs> this one. Yeah, finish your fears on this one. I put, wrote, erased mine. That's why I wanted Man, to start. fuck you. Restart. <laughs> well, can I explain mine then? Sure. All right. Well, the first one I put in Strangers. We're talking to strangers. Well, fuck it. Well, I'm not really afraid of any of these, though. Fish. I can talk to strangers, though. Zombies, you know, I'm not well, really afraid of them because I don't Andy's believe team. in them. I know, I didn't like them. My boss, I'm not really afraid of him either because he's my uncle. I don't think he gives a shit. And then teenagers. I'm like, who the fuck is afraid of a teenager? I am one. I'm afraid of myself. I'm kidding. <laughs> I am too. Don't worry. That doesn't go away when you're a teen. Okay, we'll read these out. Witches, quicksand, middle age, and werewolves. Okay, you know, quicksand is really a stupid thing to be afraid of, though. I mean, you're not going to get really strong. I mean, how deep is it? Jacob, quicksand doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm going to say it right off the back. I actually like all of these. I can't wait till I get older. And all that stuff. I'm actually not afraid of any of that. Middle age. I don't know. Shit. Shit. Where's my card? 
I don't know. Wearables aren't even a fucking thing. None of these are a thing. Yeah. Well, except middle age. Yeah. That's the only thing that's actually real. Quicksand is actually not even fast. But they give you the idea that quicksand is a, you sink really fast, but no, it's just sand that's... And they're never really deep. I'm just going to put balloons. Well, I don't know what, where I had the one. Fuck it. You agreed that when you were a kid, you thought quicksand was going to be a huge problem. No. I know that I thought about that when I was a kid. I did not. I thought I, things that I worried I, I had to worry about as well. Quicksand. <laughs> but then as I got older, that's and I actually seen quicksand. That's not that bad. My well, enemy. Me. Man, I'll be re- honest right off the bat. I didn't know how to rank these things for myself. Yeah. Because I actually, right away, I'm going to tell you guys, I like all of these things. Right. I'm not um, afraid of getting old. I want to get older. I'm not sure how I should rate this myself, so... You know, probably basically the same. <laughs> to be honest. A snickety snack. A snickety snack. If you guys are wondering, the package has, like, the big black snake on it. And a snake, snake, snake. If I if I ever get a pet snake, would you guys let me keep it? Yeah, it depends on the type because snakes are very clever, and if they get out of their pen and you don't feed them often enough, they yeah. can go and kill children and small pets. There's a ball python. No. Ball python are like this small. Yeah, bullshit. Get bigger. No. I'm not talking about those yellow ass fucking python. Now that are fucking no. 300 feet. You could have garden snake or snow snakes at all. What? Garden snake. Hmm. Tiny little noodle. I fed a ball python. They don't even get that big. Now, I'm ready. Are you? I've held a rattlesnake. Yeah, I'll go. yeah I'm ready. I've killed several oh, snakes. All right. Here's what, I fir- here's what I think of war is afraid of in the order. So, I think werewolves is number one, because they will actually try to kill you if they were real. Number two, I put witches. They could be good, they could be bad. I don't think that we is actually afraid of them in general. Uh, third is sand, quicksand, because it's really fucking easy to avoid. And four is age, because Aurora uh, keeps talking about how much she wants to get older. She kind of gave it away. Man, Derek, in general, you're going to look good when you get older. Well, you know what's funny? Your hair's going to go white. It's going to look well, good. Well, you know what's funny? <laughs> I put that all the same thing, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so you guys got them pretty much right, except you got witches and werewolves mixed up. But to be fair, I rank them the same. Actually, I rank all of these the same. That's why it was so confusing for myself. So it goes witches, werewolves, sand, middle age. I said witches on top because technically if there's a bad witch, she can curse you. You well, know? Well, here's this. Me and Jacob basically got two points each. But I'm not really afraid of witches. I actually have green witchcraft books in my house. I have two of them. If you guys are wondering what a green witch is, it's basically a, also known as a garden witch. Or a botanist. Yeah, basically kind of like a botanist. But they mostly, green witches mostly do like things for like protection Alchemy. and safety. Alchemy. They basically do mostly things for protection and safety. Half point each? No, because it ties me no points. The only wow. thing we can get now is bonus points. And then, well Jacob won already, fuck you. You haven't given any <laughs> bonus points out yet. And here we go. What? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> no, I did give out bonus points. I just didn't give any to you. <laughs> you didn't give any bonus points uh, for what we had to say. Werewolves. I'm not afraid of werewolves. I think they're pretty cool. Actually, werewolves and vampires are pretty much the same thing. And I fucking love them. Anyway, uh, uh three. Quicksand? I'm not afraid of quicksand. I played in quicksand. Okay, it's fun. I don't know why. Thrills. And for middle age, I'm not afraid of age. 
I never thought I'd make it this far. I never thought I'd be 24, almost 25. I'll start because I'm, I'm very pa- happy to age. I'm going to say mine because I'm impatient. Um, age, because I'm the more I get older, the bolder I get. <laughs> <laughs> Second is witches. Okay. okay, I'm giving him two points for that one. Uh, second is witches. Although I do not believe in witches, I have a fear that there's some god chick who thinks she is one who's going to sacrifice me. <laughs> you married one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, next is werewolves. He's afraid of me. I'm not afraid of werewolves, but I'm, I, I really like wolves. But I do know that werewolves, if they were real, would absolutely wreck my shit. I just realized I don't know how these cards go in the box. Don't worry about it. I'll deal with it. Uh, and uh, but here's this. There's also another thing. What if werewolves are like what furries envision? Ew. Okay. Now I don't like those more. You guys' boards were right. Okay. I'm giving you guys extra points for that because now it's actually right because you brought up furry shit. <laughs> okay. I don't like furry and shit. You know, <laughs> like you want to comment? Trump, do you like furry shit? Wait. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. Here's this. But he said maybe not. Uh, Is it because of Chica? God damn it. But here. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> now, here's this. Um, here's this. The one thing with werewolves that comes to mind when I think of them is furries talk about how they want to be gangbanged by 13 werewolves. Oh. Specifically that number. Um, and lastly is quicksand because I've been repeating it fucking non-stop. Quicksand is not a threat. Jacob, you may go on now. Wolves. The werewolves. Honestly, if they were real, they could kill you. Or eat you, you know? And you ever heard of the boy, the little boy who cried wolf? <laughs> uh, witches. Well, it could be good or it could be bad. And then I put sand... Well, if it was real, well... Sand's not real. <laughs> yeah. Uh, middle age. Well, I'm not... Re- Sand's I, I, or, not or, real. Or, 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 I don't object to actually giving him points, but please give him a point for that. Sand's not real. <laughs> Sand's not real. <laughs> please give him a point for that. <laughs> Sand's not real. It doesn't exist. It can't hurt you. Pack it, Sand. <laughs> 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 Then I put middle age because I actually want to be be in the middle age, you know, because then you'll have more knowledge at the middle age of yeah. where life is. You know what I'm saying? Well, for knowledge. Some, yeah. well, well some people... <laughs> Fucking with, science, man. At, ha- however, with age sometimes comes knowledge, though. That is not the case with everyone. Thing is, you have Look more experience science. and you'll know what to do in the future. You know you can teach your kids what... You, to do and what not to do. Yeah. I don't understand why people are always so afraid of, like, age or, like, afraid to admit what their age is and stuff. Um, I'm not afraid of my age. I'm afraid of the, the limitations of age. You know what else I don't understand? People who say, like, 30, once when you become 30, you're, like, considered old? No. When you're 30, you're still pretty fucking young. Same with 40. I'd say you're, like, officially <sighs> getting old, old when you're, like... Well, in the 40s, 60s. in the 40s, you're mid-age. Hey, should we, um... Uh, hey, let's draw some bonus cards, just for the heck of it. Just, no, we don't have to write them, we're just gonna talk about them. Okay, you can pull them, because I don't want to get up. Alright. How <laughs> about going to jail? I'm a little bit afraid of that. Honestly, I relate to convicts way too much. See, this is how we should have played it. We should have just pulled and then talked. Yeah, maybe we'll do this next time. Play a play a fears round two. Well, he gets to pick the next yeah. game. Well, it depends. Well, yeah, we haven't counted the points yet. We still have bonus points to dish out toward the end. So, going to jail. I'm not really afraid of going to jail. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a thing. Uh, there is some things I'm afraid about in jail, like getting jumped or getting stabbed. Oh my damn. But I'm not afraid of that because I relate to convicts more than I do anybody else. Uh, that and veterans, because co- veterans and and convicts have a few several things in common. Yeah. Both my boys came to see me. Now, Are I'm not boys? afraid I'm going to jail. I mean, I'm afraid when I go into the jail. You know what people are gonna act like when I'm new. But 
once you start to get to know the people, you're going to start being, um, well, it's all about politics. So you, you picked your uh, race or whatever, which is uh, like... First off, that's not actually a thing you have to do. That's, you don't have to do that. No. That's but, a myth. Not really. Well, not here. Here, it's about politics, at least. Politics is in every prison. I but just remembered. You don't I need to choose a game. I bought coffee, and I didn't get to drink any today. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Oh, I'm sorry. There was a hole in it, so I might as well. Some context, guys. Jacob just went full magic mic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there was a hole in it. I just wanted to rip it. I'm not gonna be, like joke. Like my intrusive thoughts this entire time, looking at the hole of your shirt, was just thinking, not me rip the sh- rip your shirt. That's fucking weird. But <laughs> just, just like rip it, rip it. Fuck the shirt. I was just playing with it, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> when the intrusive thoughts win. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, in prison, the necessary to go join a gang is not necessarily. There will be gangs. No, but you will get used to the people, and people will get used to you, and they won't fuck you as much, you know? Yeah, yeah, but here's this it's movies that make you have to join a gang a thing, it's movies that make that a thing. No, I'm talking about politics. I'm not talking about gangs. Though. I know, but what you just said that be, that politics involved are with gangs, which is not necessarily true. Okay, Halloween. Nobody here is afraid of Halloween. Ew, I love Halloween. My brothers are Ghosts Ghost and ghouls of every age. Wouldn't you like you a me? copyright? Uh, <laughs> My brother's afraid of Halloween. I know he is. He don't like it. He thinks the monsters are real. <laughs> this is just... This one kind of threw me off. It's kind of making me laugh. Charlie horses. Oh, I don't like those. Those hurt, but I'm not afraid of them. I am, because they last for like a really long time for me. Yeah, Jacob, and I don't what, know what why. About, what about you, Jacob? What? Charlie horses. Charlie horses? What about Charlie horses? Like the, you know? The cramps on the leg or something. Uh, I get them all the time, so. Well, I don't know. I get them um, really bad in my feet. I, I hate it. I hate it. it. I've, I've done it when I was having sex once. <laughs> Same. And, and it just, oh, oh. And then you have to stop for a second. And, and it's like, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you just keep going. <laughs> you just kind of ignore it. Dur- you just kind of ignore it during. I can't ignore it. I had to stop because it's, I see, ow, ow. <laughs> and not only that, it gives it right here, too. Yeah, like in the hip, mostly. Yeah. Oh, God. Next one is Chatty Plain Neighbors. This one just annoys me. What? Chatty Plain Neighbors. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to give Jacob one for that one. Just... <laughs> and you know what? One for you, too, but I'm not going to describe why. <laughs> probably because you probably got one earlier. God damn it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to ignore this one here. God um, damn it. What is it? It was chatty plane neighbors. It was kind of stupid. What does that mean? Uh-huh. Like, talking to people on a plane. I'm not afraid of them. I'm annoyed by them. Yeah. Get the fuck away from me, fat ass. No. Irrationality. That's how, you, that's how you talk to people. I'm already an irrational person. I'm get your fucking of feet it. off I my guy in general. That's what I am. I don't, I'm not afraid of irrationality. I really hate it. You don't like me no more? Shut up! <laughs> Guys, he just said he hates me. I don't hate you. Take a point away. I hate that you're irrational. I will. You just said you hate me. I'm joking. Next is mosquitoes. Oh, I hate those fuckers. They need to go extinct. We can't fuck do that. mosquitoes. It'll affect the ecosystem. No, it won't. They, no, no. Scientists have proven it. mosquitoes offer fuck all to the environment. Fuck mosquitoes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Mosquitoes do suck, but I'm not going to kill them off. I will. Uh, missing they cause a winning, too much oh, disease. Missing a winning game shot. Doesn't necessarily mean sports, but missing the point in any game. Yeah. Well. I don't play sports. In any game. Doesn't necessarily mean sports. I play sports. I mean, I'm going to go with the sports because that's, that's, that's my thing, you know. Yeah. I to hate me, it because let's, let's say if I'm about to do the winning touchdown, you know what I'm saying? 
and I miss the catch, you know. The crowds are like, oh, and then you have that fame in your heart, and it's just uh, the but feeling you have, of it. Like the very bad fans who are who will fucking attack you. Definitely, if it's like a Super Bowl, you know, and you're just gonna have that hate in your heart, and you're just gonna cry. No, well, not cry, but you know. Here's a way. I'm gonna put this in a way that I get it. I like make, getting achievements in video games. So if I miss the achievement by one thing. One thing. It just drives me up the wall and I have to start over just for the sake of it. <laughs> or Even like, if you're almost done with the game. Yes! Or like Yes! Or, or like or like or like when I choose the the wrong person and they fucking decided to crash a helicopter into the fucking windmill and they fucking lose my gold. So <laughs> Yeah, I saw you playing it. Context. Jacob was playing GTA five. Jacob chose a cheaper option in the gold heist. And he lost half of his money in the process of that. <laughs> God damn. All right. Missing your exit. <laughs> what? Missing your exit like on a highway. My ex? I'm kind of afraid of that because then you can get lost. I hate that. I hate that what? when I do that. Let me see. Missing an exit. Oh, I thought you said... Mi uh, missing miss an ex? Yeah, missing your ex. I was like, what? Oh, hell no. Yeah, you thought me and Derek were both just like, yeah, we miss our ex. No. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is missing your ex. Like, you're about to run him over. Like, why? The, you know, I'm, I'm a, of course I'm afraid missing your ex. If I miss, I'm going to go to jail for attempted murder. <laughs> I don't Wait, give a fuck. I yeah, thought you were to go. Yeah, to I'd be afraid of missing then, too, because then I'm going to jail. <laughs> All right, tornadoes. I'm not afraid of these. I literally watched a tornado the day before Easter just go by my house. I'm afraid of <laughs> really, really big ones. Yeah. Not the little ones, though. No, just a context story, that tornado was big enough to take out an no, apartment. No, 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 just open the door and just be like, oh, hi, tornado. Bye -bye. That, that tornado was big enough to take out an apartment complex, and I just watched it go by my house. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat and watched it. And this was the day before Easter. We were literally dying eggs inside. <laughs> All right, this one I know how it was going to respond to. Having a baby. Oh. Listen, I love having my child now out of me, not existing in me anymore. Okay, this one's stupid. Green it's vegetables. Oh, God. No, no. Oh, God, it's a broccoli! <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> oh, no, it's just Midoriya. <laughs> 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 so be reacting Aww. to the background. All right, haunted houses. Yes. Just I'm yes. Afraid of haunted houses. I'm kind of afraid of them. I kind when of I was younger, those. I was afraid of them, but now that I'm older, I just don't give a fuck. I think this will be the last well, one. Actually, I was more afraid of haunted houses as a kid too, but as an adult, ghosts technically can't hurt you. They can't do jack shit to you because they're ghosts. That would be a great thing for all of humanity. See? We agreed. <laughs> okay, here's an actual scary one. Being buried alive. Yes. That's terrifying. Trump? Don't worry about it. So I guess that's what we need to do. That sounded it. suspicious. Shut up. <laughs> 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 Points for being paranoid of your government. Remember what it's going to be titled? Uh, Stranger Danger featuring Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If that's not going to get some attention, I swear to God. Um, but being buried alive for me, that sounds terrifying because I already hate the ocean for one. Because that's already. No, let's, let me get it. That's already practically being buried alive if you're under the ocean. Secondly, I do not like the idea of suffocation. That is a painful death. Suffocation. No breathing. Don't give a fuck. Give a <laughs> Why did that remind me of this? Um, it's Papa Roach. I know what it is. There was, this reminds me of this thing the guy said. Daddy. What was it? Um, Hi, baby boy. I can't remember how it went, but it had something to do with lack of sleep and pain. Ha ha, Derek. I got the Danny. No, you don't. Now I do. No! 
what? You know, I, I'm just reminded, reminded of a joke. Huh. Uh, well, if I die young, I want all my friends to go on my story and post like a blank, like a black screen. Damn, it's dark in here. God damn it. Or uh, have, have your friend take your phone and say, thank you all for coming at your funeral. <laughs> God. We're going to do that. <laughs> I need you to do that. <laughs> All right, I, I think I, I think this should funeral? conclude the game, though. Well, our funerals? You probably won. Uh, uh, let's find out. We got to count points. I have three game points. I have one game point. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six bonus points, totaling out at nine points. I got ten. Ten. James got eleven to, to, to nine. Jacob wins the game and is the new host of the de- of the next podcast. I said ten. Not oh, you counted 10 total. Yeah. You still have one point over me. Yeah. You still are the winner of the podcast, and you are the next host. Which means Jacob gets to choose the next game. Yeah, yeah. what are we playing next? Well, it's not necessarily a game. He can make it into something else. Yeah, we point. can do whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we will let you guys know soon when the podcast's on. I have the thing about it, so. So, uh, <laughs> Jacob, you got a winner speech. Too. Next time I win, we're doing stitching, bitch. A winner speech. See? I never thought I would, honestly. Um, I, I figured the war of would know her better. Um, did I well, even do a winner? Technically, he did. There's a spider I just in won by corner. the bonus points. Um, Jacob won with bonus points. There's a spider in the corner. Nice. You can get rid of the fucking flies in this house. Cool. So, I'm going to go light this house on fire now. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it was fun. Um. Uh, I'm glad to be a winner, I guess, to be the host. Um, uh, sucks to be you losers. Derek's a bitch who likes ain't, to scratch his ass. Ain't that right, Tom? I'll scratch my ass right now. Like. Yes. Let's see what happens. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess I should give a loser speech. Um, uh, fuck a roar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she should have gave me more bonus points because I'm a husband. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's all? I don't know. Uh, and you got anything to say, Aurora, before we close this podcast out? Yeah, fuck Derek. That guy's a fucking loser, bitch. Fuck him. He's awful. We'll, we'll, we'll debate this. Fuck in the you and your points. <laughs> all right, we'll debate this in the bedroom. God damn it. All right, all right, all right. We'll ask Trump about his speech. So what we gonna ask? Him yeah, to Trump. Him. What do you have to say about this? This this episode of the podcast. Well, we gotta. You like it? it? Yes or no? Hit it. I have absolutely no doubt. Oh, I guess he likes it. I guess. All right, we got his approval. Right? We'll find out. You never know, but I think so. Well, <laughs> fuck. Start uh, fucking saying shit. Like, I like how he says these most less indirect answers. I know. I love yeah. it too. This this magic eight ball thing is actually hilarious. He's gonna say it in the same thing. Am I gay? He's gonna say it again. No. Context: Jacob is not gay. Gay people. Are you gonna say goodbye? Let's just end it on that. All right, goodbye, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, the lesson, uh, today's lesson is um, do not talk to strangers. Anyway, fuck po- people. Podcast out.